also making news nine years in prison. That's the sentence today for a Chicago man who coached his cousin in the murder of a woman at a resort in Bali. The family of the victim, Sheila Von Wies Mack, calls the sentence a step toward closure. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross reports we're seeing the murder weapon for the first time, and he also has the emotional reaction from the victim's family. We think it's a very fair and just sentence. These were emotionally taxing steps for a family outside a federal courtroom. The siblings of 62-year-old murder victim Sheila Von Wiesmack summoned the courage to speak to a judge about their loss. I mean, it was, um, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I did it, to, both Bill and I did it for Sheila. Von Wiesmack's sister and brother described their sense of grief as prosecutors showed the handle of a glass fruit stand turned murder weapon in court. 26-year-old Robert Bibbs reminded the judge he wasn't in Bali August 2014 for the murder, but rather texted those who took part in the killing. Von Wiesmack's then pregnant daughter, Heather Mack, and her boyfriend were convicted by an Indonesian jury of beating, then stuffing the victim's body in a suitcase. She's up in heaven and she can't, um, she can't speak. And we miss our sister. In court documents, Bibbs texted advice on how to carry out the murder with all profiting from the 62-year-old's wealth. Bibbs argued Mac was sentenced to a decade and his limited role shouldn't earn him as severe a punishment. Ultimately, the judge disagreed, sentencing him to nine years. The sentence of Heather in Indonesia is a joke. She was the mastermind of the murder and she gets 10 years in Indonesia. Von Wiesmack's brother and sister talked about their unsuccessful attempts to get Heather Mack's child out of prison and into a better environment. They called themselves victims of her plot, adding so is her young daughter. Live in the newsroom, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. All right, Jeremy, thank you.